back to your NBA career. In your fi- in one of your final seasons, you spent time in Oklahoma City with the young trio of Kevin Durant, James Harden, Russell Westbrook. Tell me about your time with them, and did you expect them all to become MVPs? I thought that they were going to be really good. I mean, I think after that year, I even wrote an article, I think it was for Hoops Hype, that said that this team was going to be the team of the future if they keep them all together. And, you know, Serge Ibaka, you can't forget him, and Jeff Green, they had a crew of young players. And they should have kept them all together. That's it. That's, you know, they should have kept them all together, and they would have won at least one or two championships, you know, by now. And it's, it's interesting because they were so young. Like, James Harden was a, a rookie. And I remember James Harden coming up to me, um, and he shook my hand. He said, uh, nice to meet you, sir. I grew up watching you. I was like, you mean you grew up watching me? <laughs> you know, but then I had to do the math. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I guess. You know, these cats are young. He's like 19 coming out, right? And, you know, I'm in my 30s. And, yeah, he must have grown up watching me. But they were so young and so raw. Serge Ibaka was, like, so young and everything like that. But you could see the talent. And it really, you know, it, it it's one of the biggest could-have-been stories of a team because I really think they would have had something special. Um, you know, Kevin Durant is a special – they're all special players. They should have – they should have just – they should have kept them all together. That's all I can say. However much it costs. I mean, listen, three MVPs on one team. Yes. Oof. However you got to get it done, you got to get it done. <laughs> well, one thing, I, and I, I just told this story about watching uh, Kevin Durant work out and, and watching how he's the only player who I ever saw that a coach tell him, okay, that's enough. Go home. That's enough working out. Take the ball from him. You know what I mean? I've never seen that happen before, but I literally saw Scott Brooks tell him, to go home <laughs> one time after he was working. That's how hard he was working out. That was, like, amazing to me. <laughs> I tell my, my AAU guys that all the time. Um, you know, he's, yeah, that, he's, he's that good for a reason. You know, a lot of times people, people see people and they see the finished product, but they don't know what it, has, what it takes to get them there. 